Hi everyone. Today we're going to read a book called Room on the Broom. It's for fall and for Halloween if you celebrate it. And I've got my witch finger. So ready? Let's read. Read our story called Room on Broom. Broom on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Alex Shepard. Oh, look at all those things. Room on the Broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. Look at that witch. That is a witch. witch. That has, has a Cat. Which has a cat. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned. She's smiling. As they sat on the broomstick, the witch and the cat are on. on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Oh no. Look, it's very, very wind. Windy. And look what happened to the hat. <gasps> Down, cried the witch. Down. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Look, guys. They did not. Not. See. Hat. They did not see the hat. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Look, they found it. The hat is in, in the dog's mouth. mouth. It's in its mouth. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, Oh, look, the witch has the hat. Where on. is it? It is on her Cat. head. It is on her head. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? The dog wants to know, is there any Room on on that broom. Broom. Can the dog come? Yes. Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Look, look who we have. We have the broom, we have the witch, and the cat, and the next one that got on was the dog. The dog was next, and they are all on, on broom. the broom. What happens next? <gasps> They're flying. Look at that. 
Over the fields and forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail. And the stormy wind blew. It's so stormy. It's very windy. And they're in the middle of a storm. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Look, it's Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. Look at that. They again oh. went down to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Look at that. Again, they did not. not. They did not see. see the bow. They did not see it. it. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. Look at that. Green. It's a green bird. Bird. And where? Where? Hmm. Where? Where is the bow? Look. It's in the bird's <clears throat> mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Then out, then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? The bird wanted to know, is there any room, room for me? What do you think the witch said? Yes. Yes. Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Let's see. We still have the witch and the cat and the dog. And who is on now? Here comes the bird. The bird is now on. on the broom. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. Look at that, they're all in a storm. storm. Look at this. It's now raining. raining. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow. But let go of her wand. Oh no. Down, cried the witch. Down. To the, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Again, they did not see it. Not. Oh my goodness. They do not see the wand. See. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Is there any room, room on, on the 
that. Broom. Is there a room on the broom? The witch tapped the. Oh, yes! <laughs> she said yes! Of course there is! Yes. So the frog bounded on, the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh! They were gone. Look at who do we have now? <gasps> the frog was the last one on. He is now on the broom. On. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, and the frog jumped for joy. Look at that frog. That frog is jumping. Jumping. He's jumping. And, oh no, the broom snapped in two. Ah, what happened? Oh no. What happened? The broom broke, broke. into two pieces. One, two. And down they went, tumbling into a bog. They, oh no, you know what happened? That's crazy. They all fell down. Fell. They fell down. Down. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh no. They heard a loud noise that was scary. scary. <gasps> I am a dragon as mean as can be and witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch doesn't like this. She says, no. no. Flying higher and higher, the dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch. Help. Ah, I need help. Flying down to the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes, and he said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. Uh-oh. The dragon, the dragon what? wants to eat. eat that. Witch. Witch. <gasps> No help wants to eat witch. But just as he planned to, to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. It has four, four heads. Head. Heads. <gasps> Four heads, look, one, two, three, four. It, it had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. My. That is my witch. That's my witch. witch. Look at. Oh no, now who's scared? The dragon looks like he's the one that's afraid. afraid. Yes, I think he's scared. Uh, Scary. Uh, The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and he flew through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. 
and down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Look, all of her friends helped her. They all helped her and Help. she's okay. Here they are, look at that. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. Oh look, she wants them to get something and she wants them to put it in the cauldron. In. She wants something to go inside. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. She's cooking it. Look at that. She's mixing it up. Mix. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose. <gasps> what came out? What? What came out of that cauldron? Out. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. You know what? Thank you for joining me. I thought that was a really good, good story. story. Bye guys.